In our news bulletin for this evening, the new Legislative Assembly have endorsed the terms of reference for the four committees within the Assembly. Niwe formalizes the establishment of the USB alumni organization on the island. Niwe is set to host its first Kainiwe Food Festival with celebrity chefs on island to judge some of the competition. Niwe's clay target shooting team elect a new committee to develop the sport over the next three years. Yesterday, Niwe's Legislative Assembly meeting was a rather short affair in comparison to the previous meeting. The order of discussion started with the notices from the Speaker before proceeding with the tabling of minutes from the meetings on the 5th and 26th of June. The budgets for the Broadcasting Corporation of Newit and the Newit Philatelic and Numismatic Company were also tabled to be discussed at a later stage. The tentative program for the 40th Constitution celebrations, specifically the Flag Raising Day, was also presented in a report from the House Committee. The House Committee will hold another meeting to further discuss the finalised programme. Tabling of the terms of reference for the Bills Committee, the CPA Committee, the House Committee and Public Accounts Committee were all approved. There were only two questions that were asked by Honourable Terry Coe. One was about the rubbish dump site in town not being cleaned on a regular basis. Minister Billy Talangi responded that the delay was due to machines, problems and Workers were in the process of cleaning the dump as of yesterday. Another question was for an explanation from Premier Toketa Langi about his plans to privatise Newest Hospital. Premier replied that not much people are currently using the hospital and government has no intention to change the policies or to charge fees when our people go to the hospital. There will be more employment for our people, according to Premier, and the terms of reference is still in progress but will be completed by government soon. One motion was also put forward by Honourable Terry Co that all Newit Philatelic and Numismatic staff and contract workers have the same four-day working week and one day off on full pay as civil inquiry staff and contract workers. The motion was defeated 7-7 seven to seven votes. Premier Tokita Alangi also presented a statement regarding meetings recently attended and some of the agreements that government has signed. The meeting concluded at midday with the next assembly meeting tentatively scheduled to be held in November with dates yet to be confirmed. Niue has now formalised the establishment of the Niue USP alumni with an official launch held earlier this week. USB Vice Chancellor and President Professor Rajesh Chandra and the Minister of Education Honorable Bokotospili formally launched the first USB alumni function at Talos Restaurant. Speaking on behalf of his colleagues, USB alumni Crossley Tatsui expressed that this was a momentous occasion and admired the good work that USB and the Council continues to uphold the learning institution. He commended USB's brand for its unique diversity of members and encouraged students and people of Niue to realize the worth of the regional institution that has produced some of the alumni who occupy top positions in government, academia, international and regional organizations, the private sector and other noteworthy achievements. USB Vice Chancellor Rajesh Chandra said in his address, that he emphasised the significance of the alumni network and the importance of connecting with the university. He also emphasised the quality of education provided by USB, highlighting the recent accreditation of the MBA programme by the Association of MBAs. The USB alumni have also elected a committee that will be led by the chairperson, Tung Yasioni Holo, Secretary Jamal Talangi. Committee members include Crossley Tatsui, Toki Talangi, Marianne Talangi, and Bertha Tongahai. Niwe is set to host the inaugural three day Kainiwe Food Festival that officially starts tomorrow. Niwe Chamber of Commerce has spent months planning with the Kainiwe Committee. Today we spoke with two of the chefs who will be judging some of the local competitions and talked to them about their thoughts of the value of highlighting Pacific cuisine and bringing back original recipes with a bit of added flavour. Some of the bad eating habits that have, have come up in the Pacific because of processed food and because of those not so great products that came in from outside, people have forgotten what the original, how great the original cuisine is. So that discovery is happening right now and you see it and I've seen it happening all over the Pacific where there's like a renaissance and a great interest 
in Pacific food and, and that's the doorway to knowing Pacific people because you can't have a Pacific person without Pacific food. It's just not the way the Pacific works. Yesterday, entrants for the signature dish competition put forward their samples for the first phase of judging, with three making it into the finals that will be held next week. We spoke to the judges to see what it is they look for in a dish when judging. Obviously, a billing uh, presentation is always people eat with their eye. Uh, and also the taste, you know, how they, you know, there's a young person put together, you know, married together the ingredient, you know, uh, look at the method of cookery they use. Uh, so it's got a lot of, I think, you're looking into it and the colour, uh, of course, as well, and the cooking, so it's not overcooked or, you know. Um, so they are the main thing, you know, but I always, one of the main things I look at, you know, you got to eat with your eyes. So presentation is very important. And also, of course, the flavor as well and the cooking uh, technique they're using for the, for the right uh, ingredient. I always look for how is this furthering the, the food culture of the place that it's at? What's the story it's telling? Um, you kind of tend to look for things that try too hard because they often fail. Um, so it's about, um, to me, I like restraint in food. I don't like food. I like food that's understandable and approachable. So I'm doing the entree for the High Commissioner. And I'm doing two uh, cannabis. There will be the Luica and uh, sea snail. Um, and for the Kalatin, I'm doing the two pick and um, two ways of making the pick. There are six local restaurants participating in the food festival who will be making special Kainiwe inspired menus for people to get a taste of Niwean cuisine. These restaurants include Kaiika, Talod's Restaurant, Jana's Restaurant, Alina's Restaurant, Falala Fa and Matavai restaurant. This is the first food festival of its type hosted on the island, so it will be a chance to see what potential there is for the future. I think it's got the potential to be something that defines New Way in terms of tourism um, product. I think you're going to find that, um, that the notion of New Way and food as an offering to visitors is going to build and, and, and energise all of New Way. Um, and that's, there's great potential in that. There's great, great economic and cultural potential in that. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited for it. I mean, this little place, putting this thing on, that's, I really, the courage in that is huge. And I've been really, um, really impressed by the organisation behind it already um, from the chamber. You know, it's, it's terrifically organised and I, I just think it's all going to be great. Food plays a big part in Pacific Island culture. And we asked Alex for advice he would give young Niweans keen on this as a profession and the opportunities that come with being a chef. I really believe we, as Pacific Islanders, uh, we are natural, naturally. Uh, I think back in the days, you know, was cooking only for ladies and stuff like that. Just to take that off, you know, cooking and get you around the world. Uh, and if, you know, like myself, I used to be one believe, you know, my sisters, they're always the one they're doing the cooking and the guys don't do cooking, you know. Uh, just, you know, you got to overcome that, you know, and chef and cooking can be you can become a television show chef uh, you want to own your own restaurant head chef at a hotel it's a lot of option and it's something nobody can build a, ro a robot to do you know only human can cook so they might make a fancy oven but you still need a human to do it the kainiwe food festival will open tomorrow afternoon with the opening of the umusi in alofi and the kaimakese will be at the commercial center as well as a range of activities that have been planned for the weekend all the way up to the closing on Monday, with tickets being sold by Chamber of Commerce. Newest clay target shooting organization have elected a new committee to develop the sport further over the next three years. The annual general meeting was held last week, where Dimitri Vidyamu was appointed as the new president, replacing Robert Tungyamana, who stepped down after years of leading the committee. Also on this committee, elected to the position of Vice President was Sionipele Tongyavalu, Treasurer Sanjuan Antalangi, Kirsty Tongyamana as Secretary, and two committee members, Rosana Sioniholo and Edward Sietu. In addition, John Operator Siokia was appointed to the position of Equipment Manager. The newly elected committee will be working in line with the main sporting body on the island, the New Island Sports and Commonwealth Games Association, or NISCAGA, to move the sport forward. 
that concludes our news bulletin for this evening. We do hope that you can join us again for our next news bulletin next week. Don't forget to check out the fishing competition at Alufi North this coming Saturday, as well as the Kainiwe Food Festival events that will be starting tomorrow and held over the weekend up until Monday.